Hey Emily, I've been feeling so overwhelmed with my social media addiction lately. I want to break free from it and start living my life. Do you have any advice? Absolutely, Mark. I completely understand what you're going through. Social media addiction can be really tough to break, but with the right strategies, you can overcome it. The first step is acknowledging that you have a problem and genuinely wanting to make a change. So, let's dive into some practical tips to help you overcome this addiction. That sounds great, Emily. I'm ready to make a change. One of the things that I struggle with the most is constantly checking for notifications and comparing myself to others. It feels like I can't stop scrolling through my feed. I hear you, Mark. It's a common challenge. One effective strategy is to set specific limits on your social media usage. For example, you can allocate certain time slots during the day for checking social media and make sure to stick to those times strictly. Outside of those designated times, keep your phone or computer out of sight to avoid temptation. That's a good idea. I guess I should also consider deleting some of the distracting apps from my phone. Definitely. Removing the apps that tempt you the most can make a big difference. Consider keeping only the essential apps and deleting the rest. You can also try using app blockers or productivity apps that limit your time on social media. This way, you'll have more control over your usage and reduce the addictive pull. That sounds like a practical approach. I'll definitely try that. But won't I feel like I'm missing out on important updates if I'm not constantly connected? I used to worry about that too, Mark, but you'd be surprised how little you actually miss. Real-life experiences are far more valuable than virtual ones. Instead of scrolling through feeds, try connecting with people face-to-face -face or engaging in activities that bring you joy. You'll find that the connections you make in the real world are much more fulfilling. And if there's something truly important happening, trust that your close friends or family will let you know. You're right. It's important to prioritize real connections and experiences. What about the fear of missing out on important events or news? That's a valid concern, Mark. To stay informed without getting overwhelmed, you can set specific times to catch up on news through trusted sources or by subscribing to relevant newsletters. This way, you can control the flow of information and avoid being consumed by it. Focus on the news that directly affects your life or interests rather than trying to keep up with everything. That makes sense. I think I need to reevaluate my priorities and focus on the things that truly matter. Any other tips to help me stay on track? Absolutely. Surround yourself with a support system. Share your goal with close friends and family who can hold you accountable. Let them know that you're trying to break free from social media addiction and ask for their understanding and encouragement. You can even find online communities of people who are also trying to break their addiction. Connecting with others who are going through the same journey can provide support, tips, and motivation. That's a great suggestion. Having support will definitely make it easier. I'll try to find some like-minded individuals. How long did it take for you to break free from your social media addiction? It's different for everyone, Mark, as breaking free from addiction is a personal journey. For me, it took a few weeks to adjust and form healthier habits. Remember, progress takes time, so be patient with yourself. 
celebrate each small victory along the way. Breaking free from social media addiction is a process, and it's important to acknowledge that there may be ups and downs along the journey. Don't get discouraged if you slip up occasionally. Instead, focus on learning from those moments and getting back on track. Thank you, Emily. Your advice is really helpful. I'm motivated to start living my life fully without the constant distractions of social media. You're welcome, Mark. I'm glad I could help. Remember, breaking the addiction is the first step towards a more fulfilling life. Take it one day at a time, and I'm sure you'll succeed. It's important to find alternative activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. Engage in hobbies, explore new interests, and spend quality time with loved ones. Rediscover the joy of being present in the moment. That sounds wonderful, Emily. I'm excited to embark on this journey towards a more meaningful life. I realize that my time and attention are precious, and I want to direct them towards experiences that truly matter. That's a fantastic mindset, Mark. As you break free from social media addiction, you'll notice positive changes in your mental and emotional well-being. Remember to be gentle with yourself during this process. It's okay to have setbacks or moments of temptation. What matters is your commitment to keep moving forward and embracing a healthier lifestyle. I appreciate your support and encouragement, Emily. It's reassuring to know that I'm not alone in this journey. Having someone who understands and believes in me makes a big difference. Absolutely, Mark. You're not alone in this. Many people struggle with social media addiction, and together, we can support each other in making positive changes. Reach out whenever you need someone to talk to, or when you need an extra boost of motivation. Thank you, Emily. I'll do my best. I'm excited to embrace a life where I am present, engaged, and connected with the world around me. I'm ready to break free from the grip of social media addiction. I believe in you, Mark. Remember, every step you take towards a more fulfilling life is a step in the right direction. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small, and be proud of yourself for taking this important step. You've got this. Thank you, Emily. Your words mean a lot to me. I'm committed to breaking free from social media addiction and living a more meaningful life. I'll keep you updated on my progress. I'm looking forward to hearing about your journey, Mark. Remember, I'm here to support you every step of the way. Stay strong, stay focused, and keep living the life you deserve. Good luck!